Can you see those lights glittering in the distance? That's one of the oldest towns in Bavaria. Today, you're going to see a castle that you normally can't see unless you are here, in Bavaria, in Germany. But first, we'll visit Neuburg and their Donau. Neuburg and their Donau is an incredibly dynamic town today. The first settlements were here 3,000 years ago, at the start of the last Ice Age. The Romans lived here too. But when we think of Neuburg today, one name comes to mind. The adventurous 16th century prince who was loved by his townspeople and who had a great love of his own, Ott Heinrich. Ott Heinrich was born 520 years ago, but recently someone even invented a board game based on him. My husband Franz commissioned a musical about him and his life, and over a hundred performers were on stage showing his adventures and love life in a way he probably would have loved. The building on the left is the Landratsamt, the administrative district office, and it was built in 1886 and used to be an army base. Shall we have a little look around at the beautiful historical buildings surrounding the castle where people live and work today? Let's go through the Oberes Tor, the upper gate, built in 1541. start at the church. The Baroque Hofkirche, the chapel palace, started life as a Catholic church before the year 1000. And the version you see today was finished in the 17th century. In fact, most of these buildings are from the 17th century. The building that the sun has made so golden today is the State Library. It is from 1730 and has been used as a library since 1804. I hope to take you inside another time. This is the Karlsplatz, Karls Square. I remember staying in a lovely old guest house and looking out over this square at dawn. Now that was magical. is the Turn and Taxis building from 1730. Turn and Taxis is a family of German nobility and they would stay here when they visited Neuburg. But now let's see the castle Ott Heinrich built. There was kind of an old castle here already but it was too old fashioned and didn't show his status as he felt it should, so he renovated it in Grand Renaissance style. Ott Heinrich lived like a king, but unfortunately he had no money and he often went to great lengths 
the hunt some down, even visiting his great uncle, the King of Poland, thinking all his problems would be solved because of an unpaid IOU to his grandmother. Unfortunately, the king decided not to pay the interest. Ott Heinrich liked tournaments with jousting and lots of merrymaking, and he travelled all over the world, even to Jerusalem. The castle now has an east wing with round towers from the 17th century, like so much of Neuburg. It houses two museums today. There is a knight's hall. Every two years in the summer, the people of Neuburg celebrate the Schlossfest, the castle festival here. It's like stepping back in time in the old town. Everyone wears incredible, authentically made Renaissance clothing and there are celebrations for days. here is from 1543 and is the first one ever built for the Lutheran faith in Germany. Ott Heinrich brought this faith to Neuburg. In fact, people still get married in this castle chapel today. Can you imagine how romantic that must be? Susanna of Bavaria became his wife in 1529. Now, Susanna had already been married to Casimir, who died and left her a widow, and she had five children with him. But Ottheimreich and Susanna truly loved each other. Indeed, he gave her quite the present as a dowry. So here we are. I promised you a sight you normally can't see so easily on YouTube. Ott Heinrich built this hunting castle, Jagdschloss Grünau, Green Meadow, in 1530 for Susanna, just outside of Neuburg. Can you imagine her looking out of the window, having a welcome change of pace from the busy town of Neuburg? She was looking over the biggest area of the last primeval forest in Europe. Today, the three different teams in the Auen Zentrum, Neuburg Ingolstadt, which is based in the castle, take care to preserve this important natural heritage and let the public know that what we have here is so special. Now it's privately owned, and as people live in it, you can't visit it, but you can look at it from outside. In fact, normally you can't even film it, but the people from the Wittelsbacher Ausgleichsfonds München have decided they will let me show you the castle that a prince built for his love almost 500 years ago.
that it's time to go back to Neuburg. And Neuburg means new castle on the Danube. Neuburg and the Donau. So, you may have all heard what time it is. Soon it's going to be sunset, but I'll try to film the beautiful Danube River for you before the sun's gone down. But there are, there's another bit to film now. information on Ott Heinrich Square. The outside of the Stadttheater, the town theater, is from the 1800s, but the building is much older. It's absolutely gorgeous inside, and I'll see if I can get permission to show you in another video. This is where I put on operas with the Junge Oper Neuburg, the Neuburg Youth Opera Company, which I founded with my husband in 2009. My dressing room is on this side. I get butterflies just looking at this. So let's go down to see the Danube. Through the Unteres Tor from the late Middle Ages, which was renovated in the 17th century. If Ott Heinrich were alive today, I'm sure he would subscribe to my channel and like this video. So be like Ott Heinrich, like the video and subscribe. You know it really makes so much difference to me and I really appreciate it. This terraced park is between the old medieval walls of the town's fortification. It's called the Hutzeldörr and is the former court garden.
Now here we are again on Ottheimerich Square and as you can see the Christmas lights were up when I filmed. Beautiful town, don't you agree? And as they disappear into the tunnel, all that remains to be said is lots of love from Germany, this time from very close to home, Neuburg and their Dornau.